17th of August, this is your daily crypto debrief. Bitcoin up a little bit, ETH down a little bit, and Solana is down a little bit. We're still at $140. Now, what's actually going to go on? Like, are we going to go up a little bit? Well, per this graph, we will be because this is Tether's market cap and it's been printed up and up and up. And this is essentially buying pressure, buying pressure from whales, people that want to deploy. They're going to deploy at the right time, though, of course. And so whenever we see this go up, this is too short to really mention, but you can see that this increases. And as it increases, the price will generally be deployed into Bitcoin. It can be deployed into anything. You can go into ETH. It's whatever the whales want to do. Right now, of course, this is very much it's just a sideways chop, chop period. Of course, there's a lot of sell pressure for Bitcoin. You can see with Mount in the trusty wallet, Bitcoin's just been flowing out and it's getting lower and lower and lower. So this is one of the things, there's no reason for a whale to go and deploy when there's such a huge amount of sell pressure, potentially. Of course, a lot of people will be holding their Bitcoins, but not all, some will be selling it. So I think until this is kind of done and this Mount Gox trusty wallet is completely finished, we, we, we shouldn't see anything really amazing with Bitcoin. That's my opinion anyway. Nothing, of course, is financial advice. Bitcoin is following the plan wonderfully, though. We've got um, a move below Monday's low to fill 100% of our bids. And now we're starting to push green weekend. Like, I'm not, I, I don't need any more Bitcoin. I said this yesterday. I mean, I would like some, but I don't need any. The risk to reward is not really worth it for me. This is for more for people that are happy to just trade a particular range. Leverage up, leverage down, like open, close, maybe spot whatever, if they've got decent capital and they're watching the charts. But just letting you know that I think we are really much, we're just in a little range. We're not going to do anything exciting. And this is where we're going to get very, very bored. So we'll probably start to cover news like this a little bit less and more just new depths that we can try out. Sol, however, the funding is very negative. So negative funding means that the shorts are paying the longs, which is not normal. Normally in the in a bull market, the longs are paying the shorts. As an example, Bonk Guy has a massive long on his bonk position and he's paid over a million dollars in funding. So when funding is very negative, there's, you know, people really trying to short it. And we can see that here it's kind of flipping a little bit on some exchanges. But this is a good thing. It's a, a good thing to show that like we are, you know, we're not we are looking at going up a little bit more. I mean this is not this is only slightly though, because maybe you know, 10 hours ago, it was quite a bit different. But we do have some negatives here. However, it also has some negatives here. In general, the market's just, there's not a lot of funding rates right now. Sometimes you see funding rates of like over 50% per year, which this doesn't calculate it per year. It's it's calculated uh, normally on like a, it can be like a four hourly basis or 24 hour basis or, or one day basis, depending on your decks. But essentially, we are negative. Now, uh, and a little bit of an actionable for you. Now, this is, of course, it's on, it's on a different blockchain. I'm mostly Solana related, but the reality is we all want to grow whatever it is that we're holding. And if we want to be Solana maxis, then we will miss out on other opportunities. So let's let's kind of think of this channel as the majority, the vast majority of the time will be on Solana. And then if there's another opportunity on another ecosystem, I'll cover it and I'll be able to teach you about it because I can show you stuff. So this, very simple, Simon's cat token. I've got a thesis on this. We'll go over it very quickly. We won't spend too much time on it though, because I've got it in a video. Basically, go get your EVM wallet. And just pick it down here, throw it down here. Maybe there's going to be an airdrop. Maybe there's not. Doesn't really matter. The IP is cool. I think this, this Simon's cat will do well. The ticker will be cat, C-A-T. So I did a video. It's 21 minutes of proper research and a tutorial. So you can speed watch this if, you're, if your English is your native language or if you can understand me because I'm a little bit not a speed talker. Honestly, this is something that I'm properly bullish on. I've allocated uh, like publicly over $3,000 just into trying to get the pre-sale, uh, like the token to actually enter the pre-sale. All up, I'm probably going to allocate like 10K to try and get this token as, as much as I can. I think the bonk guy has too much conviction in, in a good way. He has so much conviction in things that have been playing out really, really correctly. And even though, you know, he could have closed his bonk long at the top or whatever and then reopened it, he has, it could be tax incentives. I don't know. Either way, he's still got to open and I think he's doing really well. I am in the master category, but if you can get into the champion category, there will still be about $1.5 million, I think, worth of uh, tokens to actually, uh, of cat tokens to actually buy as well. We'll just need to be very fast. If you do not want to enter this, then of course, just see how this plays out. If it plays out really, really well and you're a little bit late, then maybe you still may want to enter. I'm just putting things on your radar because I personally like it. And there's there's no sponsorship. They're not sponsoring or anything like that. I've never spoken to the project. Just being clear. Okay, let me just make sure my microphone's a little as loud as it will go. So I've got this here. This is the tweet as well. What, what my bullish thesis on CAD is. 
and there's an airdrop for Flocky holders if you hold some Flocky. If you have time at 5 p.m. UTC, tune into this, set a reminder, and actually listen to this because like they're going to be talking about Simon's Cat token launch. Maybe there's some alpha, probably worth. We're at the period now where whenever you have free time, don't put on Netflix, just listen to spaces. There'll be gems in there. You can put the, the alpha down in the comments below. I would appreciate it. And that would be great. And then we all start to win a little bit better because not everyone can cover everything. But yeah, this is far more valuable than Netflix. Of course, it's a weekend, touch grass tomorrow, but tune into this. I personally will be. Now remember, Super Team Earn, there are plenty of opportunities there. Just call this out because there's a lot of people that want to, like they, they need a little bit of extra, you know, they need some money, right? You can just jump into any of these things. If you're terrible at them, you won't win. And then hopefully you'll get better. Simple example like this. Probably the actual allocation prize is not the smartest. Like all that for the first prize. This then it gets smaller. Maybe maybe it's a little bit unfair. This is um, writing style. So all you need to do is write. You can use ChatGPT in order to like fix some grammar. Don't use it to write it. People can work out if it's AI. Use pictures is my suggestion. Use Grammarly. Make sure your grammar is correct and make it interesting and then go ahead and put it out there. Having a section like Substack where people can find it. These are the sort of things you need to do. Next bit of actionable that I've already reminded you on, but I'll remind you again. Renzo, this is all about liquid restaking with e on Jito. Love Jito. Renzo's deployed on Eigenlayer and I think um, this would be relatively safe. There's always more smart contract risk when you're doing anything with restaking or liquid staking. So the best form of staking is just literally go to validator.com and then just go and stake your soul. That's that. Now, next bit of news. So Bonk Live, remember if you've locked up some Bonk, then you'll be able to participate or vote on um, launches. And this is regarding DiviBet. DiviBet will be coming to the Bonk pad. They applied for the LFG launch pad, but they didn't get in. I not bullish, not bearish on them. I know a little bit about them. I think it's kind of a difficult time to launch. I wouldn't really want to be launching right before um, breakpoint. However, if something has product market fit and an actual system to grow, this would be a good time to go and find the token. We don't know what tokens are going to do really well because we don't know how well a, sh a team can ship. And I don't want to name any individual teams because I don't want, I just don't want to do that. But I mean, like Divi Bet. We can do a bit of a review. Maybe next month, next week, we can do a bit of a review and see how they're doing. We'll have a look at this in more detail. Either way, details coming soon. And with my bonk, most of my bonk, I just stake it at com. I've got a little bit staked or locked up for one year, but the vast majority is six months. I don't think it's going to hit its all-time high within six months. Not financial advice, of course. So it's coming and there's no other details, but that's all we've got. Now, this is a reminder, not so much for Lulo, but use Lulo, more for the fact that I'm switching all my USDC into PYUSD. I mentioned yesterday why I think this is better than holding USDC. And if you go to Jupe, you're going to see that it's a token 22 contract that can freeze your PYUSD. The likelihood of that being done, unless you're doing drugs uh, or like terrorism or something like that, I just don't think that's going to be a likely thing. Now, another thing that I want to point out is the Jupe POAPs are worth a decent amount of money. There's quite a few that are out in circulation for uh, whatever reasons. And these these can sell for like 0.7 sol. The speculation point, I wouldn't go and buy them unless you've got a bit of sol and you, you, you really want to collect the set. The speculation point is essentially that people that have a whole lot may get more dupe next year. The CWG or people in the CWG have already said like that's not going to be the case. Not that they would have a say over this, right? The team would be the only people that should say what's going to happen in January. Otherwise, it's it's um it's a little bit it's a little bit cheeky. My point is if you watch the dupe the dupe planetary calls, then at the end you have to put in a wallet address. So just be ready for that form. You click on that form, you put in that wallet address. The wallet address has to have like a minimum of a hundred stake dupe, I think. And you would just put it in as fast as you can. You you put in your Twitter, your Discord, into that form. And that's what you do every Wednesday at the end of the Jupan Jupanary call. These things, they sell for like 0 0.7 or more soul. You may want to just sell it and just take in, you know, if you get one, then you've basically been paid oh, maybe like $100 or more to watch the Jupe planetary call. So that's really cool. But it's also a crazy speculation. This is another reminder that MissBonk.xyz, you have until Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to go and vote. Anyone that has locked bonks on, on bonk rewards will win. You just go and connect your wallet, go round one, go and do your vote. Do it with all of any wallet that has any staked or locked bonk, because I think this will also be helpful for building your dragon. And bonk has done a very good job of rewarding people that actually use bonk in the ecosystem. 
don't fade this. Flash Trade has some news. The hat stays on with Flash Trade, is now listed on Flash Trade. You can trade with, with up to 10x leverage and zero slippage. This is done via an Oracle price. This is similar to how Duke Perps is, are done. However, they don't have with. And you can also deposit with to earn 100% of the pool fees. So if you go to flash.trade, I don't know if I have a referral. If I do, I'll work it out. But in the meantime, just go to flash.trade. And then you can see I've gone and started to try and short $50. I'm not going to short it forever, but I just put on a short at um, 9.99x leverage. And if I get, I'm not going to even put a stop loss on it. Actually, I should probably put a, a take profit on it, but it does um, it does take a little bit of time to actually do these things. But let me just show you. Take profit. For you guys, not bad, but it would be good if we could just like click like 10%, 20%, whatever. This is my mark price. So if I say like, okay, I want to um, take profit at this point. Well, don't need to go that low. There you are. Even if it dips down to like, yeah, I'll make $15. And if I don't, if I get stopped out, I get stopped out. I just wanted to play. Just wanted to show you as well. The other thing is if you click on earn, this these are the pools and what they earn. This pool here, that has all of these assets. And it's essentially the same as JLP. The only thing is you can't leverage it up. So you can't leverage it up like, like we can with uh, Camino. Yet, you will be able to on things like NX Finance, maybe Camino in the future. And, you know, that will work. Definitely be worthwhile. There's nowhere near as much money in these pools, of course. So you've got to be wary of that if you're going with a big, big trade, but you should be fine. The second pool is just USDC. The APY is terrible. No point in putting it in there because it just doesn't make sense. This other pool has a combination of tokens. I don't think this will do well. I don't think this will do well. I don't think this will do well. This could do well in the future though. So really it's just these three tokens. So I wouldn't jump into this pool. Pool number four, uh, it's earning 55%. That's pretty decent. Like as long as we're in this kind of sideways movement with Bonk or if it's going down a little bit, then you're earning a very decent return there. However, if Bonk starts to moon, I would pull my Bonk out for sure. And then we don't know what this is earning yet. Not enough people are probably trading it. Uh, there's not a crazy amount of liquidity in here, but 100% of fees you get there. Now, uh, Donald Trump Jr. says this. Remember, once again, we follow politics just for the opportunities, not to upset people in the comments. So a lot of rumors are swirling about our crypto project to get the real story and stay updated with official announcements. Join our official Telegram channel. Don't rely on speculation. Get the news directly here. This, that, that's, uh, that's the biggest thing. Join this. This is, this is incredible. I've seen a couple of comments like, um, well, this, this feels very top signaling. We're not anywhere near the top. The, the signals change every cycle. My first cycle, I had no idea what a top signal looked like. Last cycle, it became a little bit more obvious. This cycle, I think it just plays directly into the winner's curse and the real estate bubble, more or less. And I'll update it if, it, um, if so. But I understand what Slog is saying. Some people have said things like, you should be focused on winning the election, blah, blah, blah. I think this is... A very good move because if imagine if he actually goes and creates something or shows there's an actual interest in crypto, where I think this is good because I would love for future politicians to have words and to do the actions. Like imagine if someone said, um, like I think all nurses should receive this, and then they go and spend a week with nurses in in, a hosp in hospitals. Whatever, I'm going off on a boring tangent, but my point is, once you start a crypto project, then you're going to try and push for better regulations for crypto projects staying in the US. So this is properly bullish. Now, big big reminder here, remember this should be bookmarked, the Solana crypto calendar. It's going through revisals. What you have to do in order to make this work for now is you look at every day, but you also look at the past day in case you forgot something. Here's the simple ones. Watch Debridge airdrop video. Just a reminder, listen to the Duke planetary call. Uh, you can either do this or by this stage, you should start to see some clips on the Duke planetary ecosystem call. Like for example, one just goes over like the FUD on Jupiter and then just look def definitely the day before. So we can see this, Simon's Cat airdrop, drop your BNB wallets and just general stuff like this. Like I could probably move this to here or repeat it here, but you, you need to look back a little bit further. This, the calendar will get better and better and better. And then we don't have much going on for the next few weeks, but more, more stuff will get actually done. All right, so the actionables, Watch my video on Simon's cat meme coin. Properly bullish. The Jito Sol PYUSD vault on Camino is 52% Why Lend PYUSD on Lulo for 19% APY. Or just put it into Drift or Camino or wherever you want. Even start to move your USDC, which is only 10 across the PYUSD. Remove your liquidity from, from liquidity.clone.so if you bought some Pepe or whatever like that. Stake your Bonk on Bonk Rewards to participate in Bonk Live. Miss Bonk before Sunday 5 p.m. UTC with your Bonk Dragon Wallet. Airdrop actionables. Drop your BNB address under Simon's Cap meme coin tweet. I would probably suggest having a little bit of BNB tokens in there because that way 
Like if they're just going to run a script to say, are these just all bots? Then yeah, you don't want that. Ideally, if you've got like $100 worth of value in there, that's just a random arbitrary number I've come up with. But if I was going to be doing something like this, I would want people to have value like that and not just attract 15,000 bots. Uh, next one, due to Sol, Sol Media Report gets some met points. Doesn't get crazy return, but you get met points. Join Renzo's Easy Soul wait list. Get $100 worth of Flocky on BNB OIF. I got $100 yesterday and play Hamster Combat for five minutes every day. So that's all for today. 